Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotionREI.com. We're getting ready to teach Facebook this month. In fact, we have a class on Thursday and we're really excited and I want to start by teaching you how to create a friends list in Facebook. How to control who sees what. I teach this class every month and I find this is an underused but awesome feature I don't think you can live without so let's just talk about how to do it and I'm gonna go ahead and log into Facebook and get started sometimes you have friends and friends by our definition include people that are really close to you you would invite them to your child's birthday party or backyard barbecue those are the kind of friends that you want to see a post announcing such an event but there are times when you have business associates or prospects and people that you really don't want to see that update. So let's talk about how you can separate it out. You would start by when you log on, go to friends. Just go ahead and click on that. Think about the different categories of your friends. You want to give them different names. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list to show you how that works. And I'm going to select a name. Let's just call this workshop. Prospects. Maybe these are people that are interested in attending some of our workshops. So we'll go ahead and include that there. Now you can start by typing a name. So if you know the person's last name begins with R, then certainly you can type it R right there. And you can start selecting or you can always just start clicking on names of people that may be interested so after you select all the people then you want to come down here and select create list and your list has been created now let's refresh let's go up here and see if we can see workshop in our friends list because now I have on my left sidebar all of the list that I've created over here let's do more and there's workshop prospects that we just created. You can see I have other lists like family, business, college buddies, and limited access. The beautiful thing about it now, now that I have lists, two things. Number one, if I just want to see the updates of my family, I click here. And in my news feed will only be my family members. And likewise, if I want to see what my college buddies are up to, I can click there. Also, limited access. You want to create a limited access for people that you've accepted as friends, but you really want to give them limited access to your updates. So go ahead and create that category. Oftentimes people upload their address book out of their email client, and maybe you've sent them a newsletter or an email and you ended up there. You accepted the friend request, but you're not real sure if you want them to see your updates. So go ahead and create the limited access uh, list as well. So now let me tell you the beautiful thing about this. Now when I create a post, so let's go ahead and do that, and I'm just going to type in new post, and click your drop down. Right now I have my privacy setting to for friends only, but when I click that, and let's say I want to customize it, maybe this post, this new post is about a workshop that I'm putting together, and I think there are some people that would be and interested in attending that so now make this visible too I would say let me specify and I'm going to use my list now instead of a name you can also message people and message a list so you're not typing in each uh, name individually there we go workshop prospects that means that I want to make this visible to workshop prospects. I've specified exactly who I want to make this uh, visible to. And likewise, I want to hide this from, in this case, let's say that limited access list that I created. Right there is where I would create, um, I would select that list and then save settings. So that's one uh, thing that I think that everyone really should do in Facebook, even like as a starting point. I think that's something you can do. In class, we're going to talk about your privacy settings now that you've got the list created and show you some other things you can do. I sure hope this tip helps, and I hope to see you in a future Facebook class. Thanks for watching.